because I got to help my boy out. All right. I'm would not going to let you. Would you hit my get, wife? Dude, I'd beat me? the shit out of your wife for you, bro. We're such dude, fucking good friends. We I would, are. Shave an dude, ass. I would, and hit my wife. Dude, you shave my ass and I will fuck your wife up. Oh my God. I will. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you added the up. <laughs> yeah, like, you shave my wife or you shave. <laughs> you shave my you wife. You shave my wife, dude. You shave my ass while I fuck your wife. <laughs> The bad part is coming, quite literally. This hurt more than 9 11. Welcome to the den. Debauchery. Fuck, it's so loud. It really, it, it really I kills. Hate, I hate it so much. Yeah, I'm fucking ready, dude. I've got, I've got yeah. my claws. Yeah, you've got claws. You're a basic white I got, bitch. I got my claws. Awesome. I've got my my stains on my shirt from my Taco Bell trip just now. Okay. Right, right, right on did, the E and the B. You, did you eat it uh, on the way on the way home? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Because why wait until you get home? Because it gets cold. Exactly. I, Tanya doesn't you. understand this. My girlfriend doesn't understand this. She's just like, why do you eat it like in the car and not to be? It's a drive through. It's yeah. the whole design is to get your food and eat it in the car. Yeah. It's like I don't understand you. It fucking Russians. And I have a I have a story about her that's gonna oh. go with today's theme. All right. We'll get there when we get there. Okay. But first, I want to launch off with happy fucking birthday, America. I got my fucking American flag. <laughs> Where are you going <laughs> to? I wish I, I had. I, I was like, I was like, whose birthday? Oh, it is America's birthday. Um, yeah. And... I, I can't. I, I hope someone in like no one comments on our show, but I hope someone's like, uh, technically, July 4th wasn't the actual day. <laughs> It's just the day they declared the end of the Shut right. the fuck yeah. up. Shut the fuck up. And actually, we really need to be acknowledging the what was done to it. Can we just celebrate kicking the <laughs> shit out of those pansy fucking British Listen, no bastards. place is perfect. Would you rather be in England? The food sucks. Everything about it sucks. Yeah. It's constantly yeah. raining. Fuck they, off. They literally have fish and chips. That's it. That's it. It's like we also have fried fish and potatoes. Yeah, yeah, it, and we call them French fries. Like normal people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, like normal. Yes, warm to America because you're you know goddamn what? right. This is patriotic time. In honor, in honor of America, let's see some fucking fireworks, baby. Can you see it? Is it coming yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. All right, it's not muted. We're gonna bring it down to about here. Oh, fuck a butt. Are you serious? Ha! They already took it off. How? How? Yo. Dude, I played it and then I tried to expand it and it's gone. Anyway, this dude uh, apparently has a grudge against this woman and he just lights her ass up with a Roman candle for like five minutes straight. She is running away and he is chasing her and he is just lighting this bitch up. I get that in your ass like a hooker. Yes, you can, you can literally play that at any time. Yeah, I just play, I just hit that by accident it. right now. No, it, I mean it works. <laughs> just gotta be careful you don't, you know, bring the podcast to a screeching halt. <laughs> Sound effect um, will never not be funny. I did have someone uh, goes, "Hey, I would be on that podcast." I'm like, "Well, which one?" You know, because we have a couple on here um and he goes mm -hmm. uh, the, the the offensive one the one where you play the car crash <laughs> <laughs> like, all right shit who was that uh uh well a mutual friend of uh of jordan's okay 
um, he was in the he was in the group chat with us for the bachelor party. He was supposed to be there for Andrew. Okay. All right. So he, yeah. he wants to be on here, and I'm like, yeah, we're always looking for. for people, yeah, dude. So. Uh, absolutely, bring him on. Yeah. Um. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's get. Let's see how many people we can upset. Like. Oh. <laughs> I don't give oh a shit. Sure. Um. Sure. I've got some things to, to talk about too. So, <laughs> you got? Do you want to start with one of yours, or do you want? Do you want uh, me to start with one of mine? Um. Should we start with the movie? All right, yeah, let's do that. That's gonna it ties the whole thing in. We'll run yeah, through it guys, real quick. We All got right, formats so now. the theme of today and our stories is gonna be drinking, which I'm excited for, and mishaps. And the movie we're gonna talk about is Beer Fest, which is a fantastic comedy. The mm-hmm. Broken Lizard guys, the same guys that did um, Super Troopers and oh, uh, Club Dread. Yeah. Huh? What do you? Did they, did, did they do Shaun of the Dead? No. No. Different, those are different people. Those I know are who British. Be. Yes. Holy shit! You're retarded. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So, uh, before my idiot co-host interrupted me, uh, I was about to launch into the the. Let's run through the plot real quick. Right. Uh, for you morons that haven't seen it, go fucking see it. Uh, basically, um, on a drunken, a drunken night, they happen to stumble into this beer fest randomly and uh they get their ass kicked like they're all really good drinkers and they get their ass kicked by germans and they decide that on the next beer fest they're going to be fucking ready so they train and train and train and uh then right before they go to do the beer fest uh one of them dies and he's just replaced by the same actor playing his twin brother (laughs) it was just the most pointless death ever (laughs) That's and it was just like, oh, well, I no, think that's the brilliance of it, you know. Our heart's breaking. And then he's just like, oh, wow, this guy's here and he drinks even faster. <laughs> yeah. He's the better stepbrother. He's the better or, or twin. And so Sorry, then they go and porn. they they go. Yeah, I get you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, then they go. Uh, they go to the beer fest. Um, they struggle, but they eventually kick Germany's ass. USA, USA. Yeah, dude, what 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 a what a perfect fucking it's like the yes. beer olympics the usa prevails i mean what a perfect uh we got drinking this podcast is mm-hmm. yeah sure america's birthday you're goddamn right uh, the olympics is coming up usa usa um the track athlete smoked a little bit of weed she's out so that's always fun a one month suspension she should still be able to compete Suspension for fucking what? But anyway, nobody gives a shit. No. Nobody gives a shit. Literally, I, it, nobody cares. It's incra- It's crazy how many people are are like on Twitter going, "Hey, we don't fucking care. We're nobody okay cares. With representing America. Nobody no. cares. No. Nobody cares. I'm glad that she's going to be able to compete. That's cool. Yes. Um, because I had not heard that. Chris now. Brown beat the shit out of Rihanna. He still gets put out as many records as he wants. Well, right? I mean. And you know, you know, and and I'll listen. I give it a fair shake. You know what I mean? Like I'm not over here. <laughs> listen, not over listen. Here I don't. I don't, go, I don't go download it immediately. Right. I listen to it first and decide mm-hmm. if I like it. Then I go download right. it. Right. I'm right. not going to support. Illegally. I'm not going to support some woman beater unless that shit's fire. And then, in which case, you know, what am I going to do? Right. It's like I'm saying with R. Kelly. I mean, yep. Michael Jackson. I'm mm-hmm. always going to listen to that guy. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. Bill Cosby's next comedy album. I'm gonna be the first in line. Mm. He's going on tour, baby. We got to go see him. I can't, dude. <laughs> the fact dude, that he's I, out. I, dude, I, I, I'm no bullshit. I was in, I was in a mostly black audience uh, bar when they like they somebody announced it was like the day that he yeah. got released from jail. The convictions overturned, and that they announced it, and the entire bar applauded. And I went up there and I was just like, yeah, Bill Cosby. Yay, rape. And they were all like. I, it's, I mean, <laughs> I was like, he's, yeah, you should have killed. The, I was like, yeah, you, can, you I was killed like, the mood. It was perfect. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, I was like, you're gonna, gonna just applaud. I was like, that's I, five dozen women get raped. Ah, the Cosby show was one of the greatest sitcoms ever. Bill Cosby himself was an amazing comedy album. We don't care about 60 women being drugged and raped. Right, right. It was like, it it had to have been the same with the OJ trial. 
Oh, dude, people Same. were dancing in the streets. Literally, it was like the craziest or, or, reaction. Or, or Michael Jackson, honestly. Yeah, yeah. The he released re- dubs every released time dubs. he was. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that a white woman? Hold on. It was absolutely a white woman. Yeah. I don't that, know. That, yeah. Okay, so the OJ one works better because it was more of a race thing, where like, right. there was a clear divide. Uh, Michael Jackson was like. I liked him ever since he sang the ABCs. Uh, we're, you know. Well, he was also black, kind of. So he and, was. Well, he not was towards black. the end. He was black. Right. You know, I, he may have. He may have started all this whole like, you know. I'm a. I'm a guy now. I'm a. I'm he was a the first transracial and, person. Yeah. <laughs> He's a trendsetter, man. I like it. Apparently, there was a dude who loves K-pop. That's Korean pop. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, don't don't ever got, insult their. Just fans, got just way. got surgery to like make himself look Korean. So he just, I mean. Yeah, I assume they just, just like closed his eyes right. and. Um, they, I could have done that for. Rounded his face, rounded yeah. his face as much as possible. Yeah, blonde, platinum blonde his hair and uh, punched him in the fucking eye. Gave him a swollen eye. The platinum blonde. I think that's more Japanese than uh, Korean, buddy. The K the K pop is the one. Oh well, I, well I, yeah, okay. That, have you have you seen them? Because they're they are absolutely weird huge. looking, but they're yeah. huge. They're massive, but man, like, they're weird I, looking. Yeah, I can't even fucking fathom how popular they are. And if mm. you say anything cross about them on social media, their fans fucking fight. Like, dude like really fine you i really think our pain like what fuck it let's what? let our podcast we should just go after k-pop for absolutely no reason at all. all right fuck it i'm in <laughs> <laughs> so they're all gonna be pissed and you're going i mean they're gonna insult the podcast but we know it's shit so good luck yeah, whatever i don't give a shit <laughs> oh, yeah, you was like, the oh, they come after us on twitter and it's like okay now we actually get like more than four fucking views okay yeah. nice yeah. I don't care. Like you're not real people to me. I don't know you. <laughs> they're not, real. <laughs> not fucking even real. I wasn't even being racist. It was just like they're on the internet. I don't know you. You're not real right. to me. Okay, so this is makes me very happy. Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. All right. He just grabs his titty, talks to you. Look at the size difference in yeah. this guy. That guy's a bodybuilder. He's he's over here like dancing like he's gonna like do some shit. This dancing is what cracks me up. He's talking shit while dancing. He's like, "You want to dance battle, bro?" I wish that we just. I mean, just like, just look at this. Said. The, the audacity to not read the situation. This guy is not worried about you at all, bro. All right, so so he's not even anyone, mildly concerned for anyone that might be listening to this uh audio why don't you go ahead and describe a little bit what's going on so here. there is a tiny little man uh they're all speaking spanish i think um i would say that looks like the madrid flag could be also, uh there's a tiny man uh, looks like they're standing in an alley outside of a bar tiny um, man in comparison for sure he might be i mean guy, he is you know tiny. he's like a hundred and fucking 30 140 pounds um just small short and this massive handsome man in a hoodie is (laughs) is, just yeah he is good looking yeah he really is he's got the night he's got trim beard yeah he's got a thick head of hair but it's like slightly starting to gray this motherfucker is a super muscular silver fox Mm -hmm. um anyway and this guy, drunk guy, is just dancing in front of him and like talking shit in Spanish. And then, like at one point, like flipped his nipple. And what is about to happen to him is awesome. By the way, which is it called a bean dip? Yeah, he gets too close. He shoves him. He didn't even look like he sh- like okay, like he he basically slap, he was though. trying to like get at it wasn't it wasn't okay it wasn't a slap All the right. slap is coming buddy. All right, hold on. He yeah, shoves him shove. down on the ground, but he did it as like a get away from me, and the guy just went flying like he was a fucking paper airplane. Right. Now he gets back up and starts walking He's like, towards hey, him. hey, oh, boom. Oh. Slapped the fuck out of him. 
Look at the results, bro. This dude is out. Dude, he's have you dead. Seen, have you seen those? Slap His battles? face is on a fucking storm drain. Like he landed. <laughs> he landed on metal. Advertisement, but yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, his face ended up on a fucking storm drain. He got the fuck smacked out of him. Have you, oh, have God, you seen those slap battles? Oh, dude, I love them. I mean, that's never going to happen. Like, I would never I, be in that. But um, what a fucking awesome thing to yeah, watch. Yeah, you're basically just signing up for concussions. Like, there's no option to even dodge. It's a terrible idea. Because you can yeah. slap just as hard as you can hit. It's crazy to just do that. But anyway... Yeah, that that one dude is a fucking psychopath because you can see the fear on people's eyes when they go up against him because they just slap him and he's just like he starts lining up before they've even finished their shot and they're like, oh god. I saw one with two girls, <clears throat> which oh. is please. I mean, what what's less attractive than that? Um, um what the and, fuck are you talking about? Two girls slapping the fuck out of each other makes my dick wiggle. Um. And then there was, there was one girl who clearly wasn't good. The the girl that was that ended up winning, she had like no neck, right? And the girl that was slapping her was like Judy chopping her fucking solid Judy ass chopping. neck. Dude, it was like she it was more like she was coming in like this instead of actually slapping. Like she hit more on the neck than anything. Oh, that's awesome. So the girl was just like, I don't even have a neck. So and she just fucked this girl up, man. I can't even imagine. Oh, that sounds that awesome. Shit. I don't want anything to do with that. Sounds awesome. Let's uh let's dip into my first story because I'm itching to fucking tell it. Yes, right, um right. it's about my lovely, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful, amazing, sweet, sexual, smart, right. Yeah. Um goddess of a girlfriend. Yes. Who was an absolute asshole <laughs> cuz she got too drunk. Mm. We night starts off um I do I do my set, uh, I do my open mic at uh, Friday, and she comes in afterwards, and we're hanging out drinking with uh, her friend and then two of her friend's friends. Um, I noticed Tanya's getting drunk, and I'm like, hey, uh, you might want to slow down. You're starting to get kind of tipsy. I want to make sure you can hang out the rest of the night. And she goes, Pfft. yeah, and I was like, on your own now bitch <laughs> that's on you she responds by buying a round of shots and i'm like okay <laughs> she we get to like somebody's house to like party there uh, a very nice apartment uh one of the gentlemen that does uh comedy down here is uh super like from a super wealthy family and uh i'll, te I'll text you the name later you might shit yourself but anyway um we get there, and of course, almost immediately, she's like, we need to go home. I'm fucked up. And I was like, oh, are you? Yeah, that's crazy. Did someone maybe think Drink of that? too much? Or maybe no, like, if you would have Say listened. something? And I, I explained to her the next day, I was like, listen, I, like, I'm not your fucking parole officer. I'm not telling you because I'm trying to be a responsible adult. I want you to be able to party the whole night, and I know you're going to go to sleep if I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fucking killjoy. I'm trying to get you to enjoy the rest of the night with us. But um, so she requests an Uber ride to get back to her apartment. I was like, hey, no, we have to go to my car. And that's a fucking five minute ordeal of trying to get her to change the address in the Uber pickup. So we get to my car. We stop at a McDonald's, which she demanded even though the line is like 45 goddamn minutes long. Like it's two lines, you know how they run the drive through now, mm -hmm. all yeah. the way out to the fucking road. So I wait for goddamn ever, finally get her McDonald's. And I was like, okay, I just got to get us home. Then I get to enjoy my delicious McDonald's. I wasn't having it while driving that time because I needed to focus. I already saw you way looking at me like, oh, you're not going to eat it while you're driving? Uh, Just shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. I see you, you little shit. All right. Um, <laughs> we get back. Um, the um, sensor, we have key fobs that let us into our apartment building. Fancy. The sensor is dead. Okay, we can't so, get but, into our apartment building. But 
just that sensor. Like, you, there's there, there's not another door you can go to. They have one door, and they're like, "Well, if it's not working, you guys are fucked. Everyone's fucked. That's crazy." It is, and we couldn't get in. Yeah, and she loses her goddamn mind in the worst way. Like she, like her friends, still with us. Her friends come back so she can get a couple hours of sleep and like sleep off the drunkness and then go home. And uh, she just ended up leave during the leaving during the middle of this because of how awkward it was. Um, also, I should mention at one point we were talking about this dude, this wealthy dude's apartment, and uh, she's like, I, I mean, I could easily buy that part. Like, uh, and I was like, I, I was like, I don't think you understand. Like, this guy comes from like money, money. Like, and she's like, I don't care. I'm a badass. I work hard. And I was like, I, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm saying there's a difference between having that. a really good paying job that you should be proud of and coming from like generational wealth like this. You know, it's just different. And she's like, she was taking the fact that I was saying that he was wealthy as a personal insult to her and what the choices she's made in life for whatever reason. Yeah. He was very insulted. So all that drama, now the door breaks down and she breaks down. She's just like, and she, you know, like when drunk girls get stuck on like two sentences that they just keep repeating over and over again, no matter what you oh. say. She's just like, this isn't fair. And I was like, I know, but luckily we can just go right to my apartment and go to sleep there. She's like, but this is my home. And I'm like, I know, I know, but we're going to have to come back to it tomorrow and I'm sure it'll be fixed. So let's just go to bed. But this isn't fair. And I was like, I know, I know it's not fair, but we got to go to bed. We got to go to bed and we can't just sit out here. Nothing's going to change sitting on the sidewalk. Let's just go to bed. Fucking but this rational. is my but this is my home. And I'm like, it's dude. We ran through this five times, the same two sentences, five times each just go through. And I'm like, Tanya, can you please, for the love of God, just get in the car so we can go to bed. This is the Some, first time I've ever raised my voice like this. With someone's her. listening to what you guys are doing. They're like, someone's fucked up. Like. I am, <laughs> I am fucking ready to snap. I can't believe this. How frustrating she's being. She's like a toddler. Yeah. But like she can't, she won't function. She won't get, she's like trying to get a toddler in the car and they're just like, ah, get in the fucking car. Not even the worst part. She's so frustrated that she doesn't want to eat her food, so she throws it away in the okay. dumpster. So, all right. She Guess what? Away. Who else's food was in the bag, Derek? <laughs> she threw away my goddamn food. The only oh, piece of right. solace. Just... The only thing that I had left to end oh, this my. shitty night on a good fucking note. She threw it away. And then I was like, hey, my food was in there too. This bitch says, well, you can get it out of the dumpster. I'd have gotten the car and get left the her. fucking car. And then when she goes, where are you going? You go, this is your home. This is your <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> this is your home. <laughs> we get back. Uh, dude, we like, uh, so that's like the big crescendo of the story. But we get back and I just told her, like, I'm sleeping on the couch. Just go ahead and go to bed. And she was like such like all of a sudden like a like an adorable little kid that had like was like sad and she was like, Well, if you're gonna sleep on the couch, then I'm gonna sleep on the couch too. There's not room. I mean, I, I and mean, I was just maybe, like, but... it's more of a fight if I don't just sleep. Like it's I would rather sleep out here, but if if it's gonna cause this much trouble. and she was super apologetic the next day. She was just like, I just I've been super stressed out and I got hammered and just, it came out in the weirdest way. Cause like it, she's fucking great, but this is man, even great ones got to fucking <laughs> got to drop the ball. Sometimes I just, Oh God, I was so full of rage that day. I don't, I don't believe that like my wife, she doesn't get like that. Like the worst thing I would say about her is her insecurities come out when she's drunk. You know, oh. I have to reassure constantly. Do you yes, think I love I'm you. pretty? Yes, Do you you're love beautiful. me. Yes, 
Yes, we're going to be together me. until I die because I'm definitely dying so first. You're not going to leave me, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 not awful, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you're just yeah. like, yes, okay, all right, time to go to sleep now. Okay, all right. You just like you tuck her in nine times and she constantly gets out of bed. And you're like, get the fuck in bed. Just, just, just. Spray bottle. <laughs> down, down. Get back in there. Oh man. Fucking yeah. Drunk, drunk girlfriend. That's the first time I had to deal with taking care of drunk girlfriend. And who oh boy. <laughs> Not a fan. But um speaking of taking care of drunk people, watch this mm. dude take care of a rude fucking customer. Okay, this is a this is a behind the bar. Yep. Video behind the bar security cam. We got one customer. He starts grabbing. He cuts him off and takes his drink. So he grabs something else off of it. The bartender goes to climb over the bar. Some other dude. Yeah, this must this be a friend dude? of that guy. Just yeah. walks up behind the bar and gets in this bartender's face and grabs him. Bop. Sleep. Oh. Sleep. 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 And then everyone else is coming for it. But yeah. I mean, and he's just clearly he's just, that guy got fired, but also never stepped behind the bar. I mean, it's it's a lot of Yeah, that's it's insane. It's an insane thing to do. Never step behind the bar. And no, I don't think that guy should have gotten fired because he put his hands on him. I mean, he didn't he didn't like necessarily throw a punch, but he put his fucking hands on him. Like he got yeah. physical. So at that point, you step behind the bar and put your hands on me. Fucking throw the punch. Absolutely. Dude's totally justified. 100 percent Yeah. Uh I mean, we I should mean, uh, that's a, that would be a fun so. game. Like uh playing justified or not justified, hitting a minority, you know. Because I think this dude's Hispanic, maybe. I don't I know. Think so yeah. At this point, like it depends on where it is. If it's like Southern California, it's not. I don't know. Minority. Was that a fucking Buckeyes jersey? Oh, it kind of look like a Buckeyes jersey. <laughs> they are everywhere, sir. That is true. That is, is pretty ridiculous. I know. We've got to stop them somehow. Um... <laughs> we don't necessarily need to stop them. We just need to like let them know to like mm. just calm down. You know what I mean? Calm if down. You, if you say so. Um. So, did you have a drunk, drunken story with? Well, you said you had something that you were. No, it, it didn't. Per it doesn't pertain to drunken, um, unless I say like it was just like this is a real world event that happened the other day, um, to me. Um, but I, I mean, I've got drunken stories. I think I've told quite a few of them on here. But yeah, if we're if we're getting to my story that happened the other day, okay, what's your story? So I, uh, you know, I'm driving. Um, there's a thing called like I think it's called like they call it rally in the alley, um, but it's no longer in an alley. It used to be in an alleyway. Um, mm, and, okay. and there's like, like there's sponsors. Is this a uh, clan meeting? Not that type of rally. Oh okay. Yeah, Caleb doesn't come. Um, but uh, he's not even here. We're still ruining his, his fucking future. Yep. I hope his mom's still watching. You should have never been friends with me, you fucking idiot. Yeah pay for your uh, crimes yeah no so it used to be in an alley and there's always like a restaurant that sponsors in gives us some free food um and then you can buy beer and then there's a live band it's just here in finley that's what they do it's got sponsors and all that well uh i was on my way to that on friday and i have driven this street so many times before right okay and i'm like for some reason, I am completely zoned out. Whatever. I'm in my own thoughts. I'm zoned out. I blow past the stop sign. Right? I just pfft, don't even stop at the stop sign. I just go right through it. Right? Because I thought there's no stop signs on this road. I'm just going to continue on. Now, someone was coming to the intersection. She was not in the intersection. She was not to the intersection, but she was coming towards it. Plenty of time to stop. She had to put on her brakes and stop. She honked at me. When she honked at me, I was like, oh, what the fuck she honked at me? And then I looked, I'm like, I blew a stop sign. She honked at me. You know, I took I took the honky, you know what I mean? Like, I let that, I let that sink in. So I go and I park, and lo and behold, it was a van. I see the van pull up. Yeah, shit. 
So I gave a I gave a quick glance over and I'm like, all right, so it's an older lady. This is this is it. I'm not gonna get my ass whipped here. Mm. So I get out of the car and I'm like, I know what's gonna happen. Typically, people don't like typically they don't uh say anything unless you make eye contact. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not I'm not glancing, I'm not gonna say anything. She rolls her window down and I'm like, she's over here. Like, you know what I mean? Man, dude, you're letting an old lady punk you out. You're just like, oh, no, don't, let, don't make like, eye contact. Damn, dude. And then she so you says. Say, you, you act like you're not worried about getting your ass whooped, but I think you were. I think you saw the look in that bitch's eyes. I'm, I'm getting to this. <laughs> she, co- she goes, did you not see the stop sign? And I'm like, gonna ignore it. Gonna ignore it. She honks at me again to get my attention. So I stop and she goes, did you not see the stop sign? I go, yeah, I missed the stop sign. I, I, I go, yeah, I missed the stop sign. You honked at me. Now it's over. Let's go. And she's like, what? You, you blew the stop sign. I go, I know, but no one got her. So fucking go. And she, as soon as I was like, fucking go, she was like, <gasps> and then she like, it's like, so, cause I was walking and I had to walk like half a block to get to where I was going. She was like circling. It was in a parking lot. They moved it out of the alley, I guess, because of COVID. They wanted more open space or whatever. But it was it's in a parking lot. And she's like circling the parking lot while I'm in it. And I'm like, there she goes again. And there she goes again. I'm like, I just waiting on you to come out so she can honk at you again. Yeah, right. I like, dude, she was so like when I when I cussed at her, I'm like, you're gonna okay. When I'm in a car sitting down. I look like any other normal fucking person, right? Right. It's not until I stand up where you're like, oh, he's hunched over a little bit. Yeah. She is pretty fucking brave. Yeah. To see a man, not that I would ever, but men do, or men are crazy. I'd be I'd, crazy. Yeah, I'd, I'd fucking hit her. Right. Like I don't know. I, to be honest, if I didn't hit Tanya, I'd be pretty confident that I'll never hit a woman at this point. I think that's about the worst you can do to me. Just take away your food. Oh my god, you fucking! Mm. He's still not over it. I'm still not over it, but I still love her. She's a good mm. lady. I gotta remind myself that, so I don't, so I don't lash out violently. I gotta remind myself. I had to remind myself uh, of that just the last couple of days. We had a broken fence post, and I go, "We need to do that because our entire fence will fall down if this post, if, you know, if we get a strong enough gust." So we take down two panels of our shitty fucking fence. We replace the post. The post is setting up with the concrete. And my wife goes, instead of putting these already pre-made fence, fences, uh, uh, sections out, why don't we rebuild these two sections? (laughs) And by the way, that one, that section is really bad too. Why don't we rebuild three sections of fence? And we, well, I went and priced it out and we had to build the section. Like we couldn't buy the pre-made fucking fence sections. We had to actually build. It was awful. That's what I did the last two days. And I had to remind myself that she's a good person and she feeds me almost every day. Almost every day. Some days I have to fucking make my own. It's really annoying. Well, while you were telling um, that boring story, uh, I managed to actually find uh, a video of that woman that you were talking about um, that honked at you. Oh, yeah, I honked at her. Yeah. Um, oh. Th- this is uh, yeah. This is her. Wait. I almost did that to her. What has she got a wheelchair for? What are you? Oh, whatever, whatever they man, dude. That hairline is gone. That's wild. (laughs) Yeah, dude. I did the uh, fucking that's a fucking troll. That is a fucking troll. You got to answer her questions three before she'll put you in the wheelchair and take you back to your room. Did she take a fucking casserole out of the oven with her hands? You see that? So basically, this this old lady called this old lady the N word, oh. and whoa, 
No, well, she deserves it. So it's two, for the listeners, it's two old women in a wheelchair. One is white, one is black. And the black one is beating the shit out of the white lady, punching her in the face because she got called a racial slur. So pretty justified. Go back to Mrs. to to, But then there is this. So I assume she's visiting her mom and she's got like, I don't know, Big J Okerson fingerless gloves on for some reason. Yeah. And she laughs like a goddamn squeaky floor. Like a squeaky floor. No, she she does. It's like if if, if we played that sound over and over again, you would think a basketball team's practicing. Yeah. Like if I make that a little <laughs> higher pitched, it would just sound like basketball. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Um I, sometimes I don't like the fact that you're in charge of the goddamn soundboard because it was just a Wrong. fucking yeah. Wrong. See, you don't get to fucking like make it. decisions, bitch. I don't like it. Uh, why don't you go? Why don't you go see what your wife is doing? Getting fucked in your ass like a hooker. <sighs> That's the thing, though. Like I would get half, and she makes more of me, so I would get more than you know, more than my share. It'd be nice. Hmm. Yeah, she takes care of me. I'm sure she does. <laughs> There's those are some good episodes that you're bringing up, man. Dude, fuck, I did. Fuck, fuck the, we, we spoke we about this what Sunday. Fucked in the ass like a hooker is our best drop. It's, it's, it's without question. Yeah, it used to be motherfucker, but now you know. Well, actually, it used to be. Yes, that was a really good one. That was, dude. Some of our best work, without question. Let's see. What else? What else do we have here? Uh, this one doesn't have anything to do with anything. I just okay. really, really, really want to share this. Uh, I'm having some trouble with my fucking mouse here. I think it's dying on me, but uh, that's okay. Boom. Here we go. Nope, nope, nope. Don't look at her name. Maybe I can blur that out. Maybe I can't. We'll find out. So this is their engagement video. They've got this fat bitch trying to record it. She trips over a rock. And if you just look at how much the phone moves throughout this entire thing, you, it'll give you an idea on how fucking awful a video this will turn out to be for them. Just backs up, trips over the rock. Oh, she's down. She tries to hold it up. She points it away from them. She points it away from them again. She points it straight down as she gets up. She falls down again. She's still not aiming the camera at them. And uh, so he's just like, okay, I guess I'll do this again. She, boom. She tries to stand up. Derek, fucking look up. You absolute ass. You just missed the funniest fucking thing. Stop looking down. Look at the fucking screen right now. I'm looking up something for us. Keep going. I don't care. Watch this. I... She goes to stand up. How, are you, how are you that? And then, then look at the, she's the, the girl she getting finally the girl gets getting the shit proposed together. to is like, she's like, okay, maybe I can try to relive this again and make it worthwhile. And it's not. The it's video not. is just her eating shit. Well, uh, so I just I I would I would I would literally pay as much money to see that phone's video footage <laughs> yeah. as i would for like a major imax ticket of a fucking movie <laughs> for sure um all right what were you looking up that was so I goddamn important you missed it, the bro. funniest goddamn thing that i have seen in a long still fucking can't time find it but i'm gonna go in on uh, on fat people again i think i feel like this is just becoming a oh this is just the fat hate podcast uh dude we've we have a i have a a person i know um that constantly is like she's a heavier lady and she's in and out of okay. these new fucking regimes that she finds right started a new diet started a new workout here's a here's a picture of me sweating because i think i mean maybe she walked up the basement stairs or something i don't know she has i'm gonna be really bummed out if the end of the story you reveal that it's me i'm gonna be i'm just gonna bum me out hard <laughs> and, I'm, and i'm misgendering misgendering you on purpose uh she dude she hasn't changed she like 
Because she's been doing this for five fucking years. Off and on shit. Do she I know her? Constantly take pictures. No, I don't believe so. Okay. Um, she'll constantly take pictures and like just stop posting something until you actually did fucking something. Like I, I don't want to see your progress. Like lost a pound. Here's a picture. Like put your fucking shirt down. <laughs> Wait till you lose thirty. You know what I mean? Like thirty's like the nice 20, 30, 20 or thirty. That's a, that's a good. Yeah. That's that's your next. Yeah, because once I lose, you know, thirty, I'll actually look like a normal human being again. Right did you did this. you skyrocket? After I the shot wedding? right back up. I think I'm heavier yeah. than I was before I started. Yeah, you can tell too. Like my face is completely round again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like a beard, it's like a fifteen pound difference. I think I honestly I should I should shave off the beard. I, I don't and make me, myself stare at my fat face. Don't tell me like if you decide to do that, do it right before we record. Like we're gonna we should yeah. do it on the podcast. We're doing it in person. Ooh. And I was like, I failed. I'll shave it for you. Exactly. Yeah. Easily. Use like <laughs> that'll be the punishment, you know. That'll be a punishment. I was like, I have to shave it off with the same clippers with my manscaped that i use to trim my balls i gotta put my ball razor on my face like oh have you have you caught yourself on that yet or is that i nicked the fuck out of myself multiple yeah. times it's the same yeah. as any other razor right there, there's no there's no difference it doesn't get as hot and i can use it in the shower and it's got a light on it that's the only difference doesn't nick Ooh, my you know fucking one? ass it doesn't fucking nick it does nick my ass actually mm -hmm. do that's the thing, because now, because, you know, of, you know, certain fun activities that occasionally come my way, now I'm trying to, like, trim my butt crack hair. Yeah. And. That's a real problem. Dude, it's so hard. There's like, there's no good way to do it. Will you do it for me? Yeah. Awesome. I mean, See, you're a good friend. What? Yeah. What? Uh, I mean, there's not. You put in a lot of years of friendship here, man. I, I mean, the least I can do. I've earned. <laughs> Listen, man, you've earned yourself to. A butt crack clipping. Yeah, it's like right? that promotion that you're waiting for at work. You know, like, <laughs> like that's the next level of friendship we've got going. Oh man, I'm so glad I found you, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is we do a lot of shit talking, but yeah, you know, yeah. this is a real moment of friendship, right? Here. Right, this is a real moment of friendship, guys. You heard it here, Darren. What's gonna be our next fucking shit. stunt? We should try to get to 200 subscribers and do a stunt for it. We did the ass waxing when we made it to 100. Dude, I don't I don't know what else we want to do. We put a minority on one of our podcasts. Like I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I think that was our mistake because we had so many racist fans and they were like, What the fuck is this garbage? Yeah. I was like, Oh, they just let anybody on. We're just gonna start treating them like they're people now. And we were like, sorry, we actually were friends with them. We didn't know. Yeah, but he says the N-word a lot. So I mean <laughs> Yeah, that, exactly. Like that might make them feel better. Yeah. It's like you guys don't want to jog. You're not into jog. Like, I do. I do feel. I do feel good that like now this channel can say it. You yeah, <laughs> it's like a nice. I I said it. I said it and bleeped it out. What do you mean can't say it? I said it on two fucking episodes before we ever had any minorities. Uh, on I know. There. I know. But that's gonna get you canceled later. Like I know. It, I know it, it will. Months. And I was like, I, like he and I discussed it. I was like, should I edit it out? And uh, like we talked about it for a long time. It's like I was like, it seems like a pussy thing to do. I was like, but I was like, I don't know. It's the first episode. Like a lot of our friends are going to watch it. Probably. I don't want them to think I'm a piece of shit. No. And he goes, you are a piece of shit, but not mm -hmm. because you say the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But just like, so, so you guys know, just to make like, I want you to know that your podcast, even though that toy guy is, uh, is all is ass. Um, I did jog while watching. Did you? Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, oh, <laughs> you guys nice. got me going, dude. That was it. That, was it the reading the, was, the text messages? Is that what got you worked up? That that really got like, you in the mood to go for a go for a little run, go for a jog, go for a jog. I think it's <laughs> soft, Jay. Um, dude, how how tone deaf, how unaware is that fucking guy? I feel bad because I didn't edit in the fucking videos like where he talked to him on the phone and then he left him a voicemail because they're so goddamn put, funny. Just put that out. I forgot. I will. I'll put out put a out fucking separate. thing that's just us reading that and then with those Ooh, edited in. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because so I will. How fucking awful, dude. Like for those who don't didn't watch the jog uh the first episode go uh, watch I, you're you're wasting your breath because there'll be more people that didn't watch this episode because jog is taken off, right? 
you know, you did that with the last episode, like the last uh, the spinoff that you did. You're like, oh, it's so good. And then he's like, I got to. No, he it. wasn't like that. I told him to stop. <laughs> I told him he's got to stop. He's trying to join the fucking military. And I was like, I know you're a good person and you're not a piece of shit. But by being associated with us, nobody's going to care that you're not. So you've got to stop hanging out. <laughs> I, I love him to death. Still think it's a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, joining the fucking military. Don't. Mm -hmm. Just don't. Just, yeah. just be here. You're fine. He's on first shift now. Tomorrow he starts his first day of first shift. He's no longer working second. So, boom. Maybe now he doesn't need to join. He's going to be home. He's going to spend time with his kids now. He's going to get a good amount of sleep. Maybe that'll be all he needs to not to come to a do real this yeah. He shit. was he was sleep deprived, and that's that was why he's like, I joined the military. But I'm like, that's not going to help. Good night's sleep. That's not that's not going to help at all. That's going to make it way. <laughs> it's going to be so much worse. So, so much, much worse. worse. So much worse. And I was like, hey, you know how you bitch about. You know, your boss and all the stupid shit that you have to put up with day in and day out. You think it's going to get better? Nah. They're about to bend you over and fuck you in your tight little butthole, dude. Sounds good to me. <laughs> now you're making me want to join. <laughs> you're about to go jog right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> who, who said, you don't see my arms. You, I might be jogging right now. I can't, I, maybe we're both jogging. Who knows? <laughs> what a stupid fucking name. I want it I to take it. off. I want it to take off. Like, I want that to be the term that gay people use is like code. I was like, you want to go jog? I'm like, yeah, let's go for a jog. That's so fucking stupid, but I like it. Yeah. I well, like it. You just got What good have we come up with? We here, we brought you the story of how the cat was killed. Yeah. We brought you Caleb's dead dad receiving dick pics. We brought from, you from Caleb. From his son. It's it's important. Yeah. Sending his dead father. Well, he wasn't dead at the time. Like it wasn't like, hey pop i think you should have this after he was already it was like, actually what killed him like the shock of seeing it was like <gasps> i think it was and that was it that's all he it could was, take. yeah oh my god one of the hardest i've ever laughed right there um the car crash sound we play i mean we've we've had a bunch of classic moments we should put out just a clip of like where it's just like a, its own episode where it's just like an hour long of just the most offensive moments in this show. I think that would be fantastic. I think, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, the, the problem is, is some of it is like audio. You know what I mean? Whatever. But the yeah, we've got some great fucking moments, man, for sure. Um, I think it'll, yeah. Um, I don't have anything else to say. You want to just cut it off? We're like 40 some minutes in. Sure. Why not cool, why I mean, stretch it to an hour if we're fucking done, dude? Let's just be done. I heard that. I heard that. Do I'm you, looking I'm like, looking at World like Star Hip Hop Southern. right now. If anything peaks my eye, I'll play it. Mm. Nothing's looking eye. good. Nope. That's it. That's gonna be it for us. This has okay. been Dan of Debauchery. Go fuck Happy yourselves. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. Fuck drink it. a drink a fucking claw. Do some fucking shots lick some titties unless they're not consenting titties in which case you, well, wait, till they're, you wait till they're sleeping titties and then yeah. you lick well here's the, here's the most women's tits pop out when they're sleeping anyway because like they're sleeping in a tank top and yeah titties go all out just, just here, wait you'll get your here's chance. the thing here's the thing with that though like i feel like oh cosby's most... out i get to me we get to talk like this again. I feel like most titties are consenting. It's the fucking owner of them. That's uh, the bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you if you pull licked. on them, those nipples get hard. The titties want to be touched. They yes. want to be touched. They want to be sucked. They want to yeah. be grabbed. It's the fucking It's that floating head. It's those you know? bitches. Those bitches. uptight bitches who yeah. don't want to let strangers grab their tits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking feminism. If I, was, if I was a female, dude, I would totally let people objectify me if dude if i, I was attractive people enough. stare like, at my tits think, all day now do you think we would be attractive 
no. women. And I, and I don't mean put a wig no. on us the no. way we look. I mean, no. we go, we we were always women. I, I'll tell you right now, not me, because I wouldn't take care of myself. There's no like. There's <laughs> no way me, I'd up. Tell me the girl you would be. <laughs> there's no way I would upkeep on the shaving. There's no, no. Way I would brush my teeth as often as I need to. There's no yeah. way I would wax, trim, whatever. There's zero fucking chance. I'd have some big old titties because I'd be fat, just like I am now, probably. But that is about it. I w- I do want to tell you that I must have been really loud, and my wife heard the joke or the question and she texted me no <laughs> and i want to end it now because i gotta go smack someone <laughs> dude listen i i've said it multiple times if yeah. you don't fucking hit her yeah you're you're she's gonna keep running the fucking house you know, have got to tune her yeah. ass up once. well you know the, the, the funny thing tune is, is like her ass up dude don't put she, up with that bullshit she carries heavy laundry baskets like down the stairs i mean just it, easy she's already like you know just right down the stairs man go what are you waiting on dude i'm 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 very serious right now if i don't see a fucking heartfelt so sad for what happened facebook post about audrey sometime goddamn soon i'm gonna fucking do it my goddamn self because i gotta help my boy out all right i'm not would just you, gonna let you would you hit my get, wife dude i'd beat me? the shit out of your wife for you bro we're such dude, fucking good friends we I would, are shaving dude, ass i would and hit wife. dude you, you shave my ass and i will fuck your wife up oh my god i will okay, I'm, I'm glad you added the up <laughs> yeah, like, you shave my wife or you shave <laughs> you shave my you wife shave my wife, dude? you shave my ass while i fuck your wife <laughs> like yeah you gotta quit pumping it's like hey it's like well what do you want me to do man i gotta thrust man just go with the motion just fucking time it's gonna sound like a fucking weed whacker for sure Oh yeah, it's pretty much gonna like it's gonna constantly like get caught like when the when the mower is going through too thick a grass and it's just like <laughs> you have to lift it up. <laughs> You're gonna have to. <laughs> Guys, if if that isn't quality comedy. If that's not quality entertainment yeah. then i don't know what the fuck you want from us guys we we can end it now because that we ended yes. on quality shit right there you're goddamn right he's gonna shave my wife while i fuck his butt crack whatever we decided on i don't remember dinner debauchery it's a goddamn nightmare